Let's talk about vector array this is our last thing right here. So, we're not leaving yet, brother. So, we're not leaving yet. Oh, we're not leaving yet. Go and pop that book back open for me. Go and pop that book back open because I'm going to be asking you questions now. Just ready to go. Now, we're going to talk about vector array transducers. It looks like a linear transducer, except it's a little thinner. It looks a little thinner. I can't even think of the number that's on it. I think it says V. Y'all don't know it because it has V on it. Y'all, y'all see those at LBJ. Red. It's red. It has a red top mm -hmm. on it. Okay. Is that for echo? Echo? Ah, uh, do they use those for echoes? I'm not sure. Yes, it does. I don't. I don't have. Echo Tech they use the transducer mm -hmm. with the red uh, mm -hmm. head. They, they use that and they use continuous wave transducers. Oh, uh, so, a vector ray transducer is a combination of the linear sequential array transducer and the linear phase array transducer, guys. That's what I want y'all to remember about the vector ray. It's a combination of both linear sequential and linear phase array transducers. <coughs> slope phase delay patterns can electronically steer the beam. Remember, our two S's, slope equals steer, okay? The technology is called vector or virtual sector. Virtual sector, vector is just the words virtual and sector together. Okay. It's like a pixel. Pix, picture element is a pixel, but they shorten the word. All right? So, it has 120 to 250 rectangular shaped strips of PZT material, all arranged side by side in a line. So basically, all of our um, array transducers except the annular array are arranged side by side in a line, right? Rectangular shape, all right? The footprint is small, often only a few centimeters. It's not a very big transducer, okay? You guys will see it. Now you guys need to be on the lookout for these probes. Y'all gave me a good idea for next year's class. I may have them bring me some pictures of these probes, okay? So the image shape is gonna be a trapezoidal image. See how, see how it's shaped like a trapezoid, guys? Mm -hmm. Trapezoid image with a flat top and it's still um, going going out like a like a sector probe, right? Vector, vector, creating a trapezoid-shaped image. Okay? At intermediate depths, it appears as a sector, right? Because it's, it's, it's coming out at like a sector probe right there. However, unlike phase array, the top of the image is flat. Remember, our phase array transducer, how, how is that image? My linear phase array transducer, how is that image appear? Sector meaning it comes to a point at the top, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a triangle. It comes to a point at the top, but our linear phase, oh, guys, know the difference between linear phase array versus linear sequential or linear switched array transducers. Okay. So, it does have electronic steering as well. Remember, I said, what is a is a is a, a blend of which transducers, Samin? What is the vector which is blend of which transducers? Mm -hmm. Linear sequential and linear switch. Exactly. So, what make this is what this is the blend right here, guys. It combines linear linear phase and <coughs> linear sequential array technologies. So, when it talk when it comes to linear sequential array. Some but not all of the transducers are fired simultaneously create this sound beam. Okay. Just like a linear sequential array, right? Some but not all of, we know in a linear phase, all of the elements are being fired basically at the same time to create one beam. Okay. The electric signals from the beam former, remember the beam former is in the ultrasound <coughs> system, that's sent, the electrical signals are sent from the beam former to the transducer that's how we get our electric steering and our electric focusing, okay? Because it's gonna form our beam. That's what the beam former does, it forms our beam, okay? A slow spike line pattern as they excite the group of elements in a vector array. How it's like a linear phase array transducer, guys, is the beam radiates out in all different directions like a sector probe, right? So even though, think about it, even though it has a flat top, if it was a linear sequential array, wouldn't this be a rectangular image, right? But it acts as a linear phase array, 
where the, the beams actually radiate out and that's why it creates that somewhat sector shaped image at intermediate depths. So that's how it acts like a linear phased array, like this right here, transducer. And that's how we get that trapezoidal shaped image. Okay? We good there? So again, some but not all the transducer, all the crystals or elements are fired at one time simultaneously. Little groups of elements are gonna be excited at one time to create this beam. That's how it's like a linear sequential array. And then the beam radiates in all directions like a linear phase array, and that's how we get our trapezoidal image. Okay? So, focusing is electronic, guys. Electronic focusing. See, we have our trapezoidal image right there. Clearly, that's a vector probe. Okay. Similar to phase array probes, vector array probes perform both transmit and dynamic receive focusing. Transmission uh, focusing, meaning that what what makes uh, transmit focusing? Guys, Adeline? Curved excitation pattern. Pat gonna get all them questions right when I'm asking about uh, steering, uh, steering and focusing, okay? Improving lateral resolution over a greater range of depths. All right, so that's all I have. Don't worry about the image malfunction, guys. It didn't put it in there. I'm sure because of how um, because of how the image is created, I'm sure that it's similar to a linear sequential array because all the elements are not being fired at one time, only a small group of them, right? So I'm sure that it may have that drop-down effect. Even though the book doesn't say that, I'm just telling you my own JT assumption. Okay? The images last when the images crystal that's what I just said. That's what I just that's what I was talking about. I'm sure that it had the drop down, uh -huh. you know. Okay. So Sophie, tell me about mechanical transducers. How many PZT elements are in mechanical transducers? One. One. How was the beam focused? Mr. Seal, help him out. That's your favorite transducer. How is a mechanical transducer focused? Uh, focused. Mechanical. Mechanical. Mechanical focus. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. How how is a mechanic how is tell tell me about that, Sophie. What are the two types of focusing for a mechanical transducer? You should know this because we just took a test on this. And help them out. What are two types of focusing? Mechanical focusing. I, I won't let y'all forget. External and internal. Oh, external. what are our two types? External and internal. Internal. What? Well, how do you focus internally? Internally by using the active element. Doing what to it? What am I? Okay, I'm using active element. That is true. But what makes it focus? What makes the what makes me use why well, if what makes it focus versus me just using cool. a regular old element? The handle. The curved PZT. My element is curved. Okay. My external focus. I have a curved acoustic lens. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. Then we talked about what happens, Sophie, if there's a malfunction of my mechanical transducer. That's easy money. Man, That's I'm easy kidding. money. What happens if the if my mechanical transducer if my if my PZT oh, element damage. stops working? What happens? <coughs> Sophie? There's only one Sophie in here, Mr. Sir. What happened, Sophie? I said Sophie three times. <laughs> what happens, Sophie, if my mechanical transducer element has damage to it? Adelie, help him out. We're going to lose the entire image. image yeah. We're going to lose the entire image. Okay? And tell me the difference between a linear phased array transducer and a linear switched array transducer. Uh, the linear 
I'm in a small group. Absolutely. Absolutely. What's another name for a linear switch to ray transducer, Mrs. Sue? Switcher? Something like a switcher. I say it's a linear switch to ray. What's the other name for it? It's something like a switch. I already switch. said that. So my, there we go, oh. Uber Ali. Linear oh. sequential array. So since you didn't know, what's another name for a vector transducer, vector array transducer. Vector, uh, bundle, and something. Who? She <laughs> wants to have the. You want that? I'm calling Mr. Seal now, not Sophie. Now I'm calling on you. Somebody yeah. tell me, what's another name for a vector array transducer? Um, virtual sector, right? Oh. Virtual sector. I'm jumping around right now, guys. What kind of steering? What kind of. <laughs> what kind of. Uh, Steering does an annular array transducer have, Farnash? Um, mechanical steering, right? Mechanical, there's a motor actually physically rotating those circular disc shaped elements around, correct? Okay, so that's mechanical steering. What kind of focusing is that, Farnash? Annular array transducers. Electronic focusing, guys. Electronic focusing. Electronic focusing. What kind of image shape, to me, does a vector array probe make? Curvy. Okay. Myra, what kind of image shape does a curvy linear probe make? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More specific. Floating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. But I wanted a blunted sector, blunted sector image. What are our other two names for our curvilinear probe? Convex, triple C, triple C. Convex curve. Convex curve. Oh, Myra, what are they? I heard them from your classmates. You don't hear them too? What else? Win, help her out. Win, help her out. Don't look down. Curve. Convex, curve, and curvilinear, guys. Convex, curve, and curvilinear. How many elements make up a linear phase array transducer, do we? 100 to 300. Boy, that boy, I'm snap. Quick, fast. Okay. How many elements do we make up a vector array transducer? Don't look One, down. 120 to 200. <sighs> two, 250. Oh, that boy, is sharp. The casket shark. I like that. Uh, what else I got? What else I got? Uh, what does dynamic receive focusing do, Adam? I'm sorry, what? does dynamic receive focusing do? Dynamic. Thank you. Lateral resolution. It improves lateral resolution. I got, I got another question for you. What are our other terms for lateral resolution? Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know who on the lateral? Okay. Um, lateral? We know the acronym. We know the mnemonic device. And, and, and you are mm -hmm. trans, uh, transverse. And my favorite word. Azimuthal. Okay, okay. I like that. <laughs> Tell me about axial. What's my What's my other term for axial resolution? Longitudinal. Uh, Adelie, <laughs> Avali. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 this is what happens when our active elements malfunction, guys. For mechanical transducer, as Sophian tried to say, we lose the entire image when, when the active element malfunctions, okay? When it comes to our linear and convex array probes, we only use the drop out of the image from the top of the image where the malfunction occurs, okay? Wherever that group of uh, transducer elements 
malfunctions, we're only gonna lose that area of the image straight behind that uh, active element, okay? When it comes to phased array, our linear phased array transducer, we can't predict that, you know? Erratic steering and focusing, the extent to which this image is affected is variable. We don't know. It may still be usable. We may have to take that transducer out of service when it comes to linear phased array transducers, okay? An angular phased array, a horizontal side-to-side -side band a dropout at a particular depth. So, Jack, if my outer ring of my trans, my angular phase array element is malfunction, what part of my image isn't gonna be there? Huh? Isn't it the outer portion of my image? I'm telling you, the outer portion is, my outer element is damaged. What part of my image is gonna be gone? The one deeper, right? The deep portion of my image. The deep portion of my image is gonna be gone. The deep portion, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you think I'm playing. I'm up. Quick fast. All right, all right. Guys, this is a summary of the transistor. Please, guys, this is in your book right here. Take a look at this. This is gonna help you guys out as far as knowing or memorizing your, um, you know, your characteristics of each transistor. So, we have our, you have to know the transducer, the image shape, the steering technique, and the focusing technique. Got it. It's really simple when it comes to steering and focusing. Only two of them have mechanical uh, steering, right? What are those two? Angular and mechanical. And your mechanical. Those are only two that have um, mechanical focusing. Why? Why, Farnes? <laughs> Finance. It's moving by a motor. A motor, absolutely. It's a motor actually physically moving those elements. Okay? That's why it has a mechanical steering. Okay. That's why we get that spoke shape, bicycle spoke shape, or windshield wiper sector shape image. Okay? Guys, know this chart right here. That's the easiest way to sum up everything aside from the way I tried to do it on the PowerPoint. Okay. Um, next class, we're going to start on slice thickness or elevation of resolution, okay? Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.